friends, what's up YouTube world? So today's video is going to be a little fun trip to Wally World. Now I am not gonna lie, I don't do a lot of grocery shopping at Walmart, but I have nothing against Walmart. I'll tell you why I don't go there very often. And it's because this location I'm going to is, it like I live downtown, so it's kind of on the outskirts of downtown in a bit of a sketchy area draws an interesting crowd so needless to say i don't make it there very often but i'm gonna go there for you guys today because i do need to grab some stuff and i want to walk through and i want to show you some of my favorite macro friendly finds from walmart because truth be told i feel like walmart has some of these like hidden gem items that you can't find anywhere else and not only that but they're super cheap you know you're not gonna find a lot of things at walmart that are like oh my god that's expensive like it's not a whole foods um and i too feel like that on um Instagram Instagram, those foodie accounts. I don't know if you guys follow them. I know I sometimes will follow them. Um, those foodie accounts that will like show the new cool like products that are coming out. For the majority of those products, they're all at Walmart. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk you guys through some of my most macro friendly um, or some of my favorite macro friendly finds at Walmart. Um, and since Walmart is pretty universal, uh, well, it is universal. Most of these products that I'm showing you guys, you should be able to find at your own Walmart. Um, so stay tuned for this little Wally World adventure. Wish me luck. I will be safe. It's not like it's an unsafe Walmart. I'm just saying it's a little sketchy, hence why I don't go there very often. But I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you when I get to Walmart. Okay, now these guys are amazing. I love these for like seasoning for my eggs. Honestly, anything savory. There's nacho cheddar. We've got some ranch. We've got some white cheddar, butter. I've actually never tried this one. Sour cream and onion. Um, these are only $1.98 too. So really inexpensive. You can do a lot with them, but these are amazing. And just another little hidden gem here in Wally World. So surprisingly enough, Walmart actually has some really awesome stevia. This is where I get my liquid stevia. Um, you know, if I wanna add it to my coffee or whatnot, this is the one I like, um, but I also have tried this one and it's equally as good. And you guys, like the price is pretty inexpensive. You don't have to pay $10 for stevia. You know, maybe the quality isn't as amazing, but honestly, this one and this one are little uh, hidden gems here at Walmart. I love it. These are the two stevias that I get when I am getting liquid stevia. Okay, another one of my favorites, and I know you can get these at other places too, but these two good yogurts, you guys, are game changers. And actually, Walmart surprisingly has a lot of different flavors. This one I've never seen, mango hibiscus, but these Greek yogurts are my favorite. All right, next up, we have these sugar-free jellos. Now, these can be really helpful if you, are, if you have a sweet tooth, you're dieting, taking one of these, putting some almond milk ready whip on top can be really, really like, just a really good hack, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm kind of searching for words. These ones are also really good. Obviously a little bit more high or higher in calories. I think they have like, let me look. 11 grams of carbs, but again, really useful thing. If you're in a diet, you have a sweet tooth, you take one of these, you throw some ready whip on top and bam, another, Another quick and easy Walmart find. And again, these are a bargain, two fourteen a piece. All right, and with the summer months here, what better way to cool off um, and satisfy your sweet tooth than with these little enlightened fruit infusion, like popsicles, right? They look, remind me of my childhood. So we have the strawberry one. They also have mango and coconut. Um, but honestly, 15 grams of carbs for one of these is not a bad deal. So another Walmart find, a little bit more expensive, but it is enlightened, so it's gonna be a little bit pricier. All right, so check out these Morningstar. Um, and this is a vegan brand. They have these pizza bites, so 367, not too bad, but pizza bites. And honestly, the macros are not super bad. We have six bites as a serving, and we have seven fat, 22 carbs, eight protein. And honestly, I don't think that that's that bad. And they look amazing. Pop these in the oven, pop these in the microwave, and bam, you got a vegan snack. All right, so check these out. This is a vegan brand. We have Morningstar. And then it's Incognito. See what they did there? But these are 527, so a little bit pricier. They're in the frozen section. These are a vegan chicken nuggets, so plant-based chicken nuggets. And I would say the macros are not too bad. We have seven fat, 19 carb, 12 protein per four nuggets, 
they're a pretty decent size. So if you are vegan or just want some, want to try something new, these are a pretty cool find in my opinion. All right, so actually two things I want to show you guys here. We have these egg white patties, and honestly, you could easily just cook egg whites and make them a patty, but if you're looking for something simple so you don't have to do the work, they sell these already made. Um, they're in the frozen section. These are $3.98, but you throw them onto a sandwich. We got two carbs, six protein per little patty. Bam. Second thing I want to show you, these superfood acai or acai bites, however you want to pronounce them, these will be perfect. If you have a sweet tooth, the macros are pretty decent. Pretty much just a little bit of fat and some carbs. So we have 2.5 fat, eight grams of carbs. These are also in the frozen section. So if you like ice cream, if you have a sweet tooth, these are a perfect substitute for that. All right, you guys, low key kind of freaking out because I've seen these on Instagram so much, but I've actually never tried them. These are the cereal oatmeal packets. Um, I'm not actually sure what the macros are, so let's take a look. So here's the Lucky Charms. We have two fat, 30 grams of carbs, three protein, and it is 39 grams per serving. So honestly, not a bad find. And they have cinnamon toast crunch and tricks and cocoa puffs. So these are a Walmart little hidden gem. Like I said, Walmart is honestly surprisingly full of some hidden gems and I I'm really excited to try these. You know I love my oats. I do love my better oats and I'm kind of loyal to that brand, but these are super fun if you are wanting to mix it up. Okay, another quick oatmeal find. This is the Quaker S'mores oatmeal. And again, I've never tried it. I didn't even actually know this one existed, but I just found it. And honestly, these macros are not bad. We have two fat, 25 carb for protein for a 35 gram packet. So, this is another really fun oatmeal find and I feel like Walmart is just like thriving with all of this oatmeal right now, but another fun find. So stay tuned for the next one. All right, and possibly my favorite section of Walmart, the Joseph's lavish bread and the pita. Sorry for the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that gibberish, but we have some pita bread and we have some of the Joseph's lavish bread. And I honestly think that they carry this at every Walmart. Um, but this stuff, you guys, is the shiz. If you've never tried it, you can do so much with this stuff. Um, so I highly recommend scouting it out just in the bread aisle alongside all the other bread. So another little Walmart steal and honestly, price-wise, not too bad. All right, next up we have these Cleo bars. And essentially it's like a chocolate coated Greek yogurt bar. It's really good. They're really small, but they're actually amazing. Um, this one is actually the less sugar one. Um, but as you can see, macros, pretty decent. And honestly, pretty high in protein. It's a very small serving size, but if you got a sweet tooth, it gets the job done. All right, another thing I love that Walmart carries is Quest protein chips. They usually don't stock a ton of flavors, but chances are you can always find at least one flavor. It's usually over by the pharmacy, um, by their little protein bar section. But if you guys have not had these, they are the goat. They're actually really good for being super low carb. Um, essentially just a little bit of fat, ooh, very little carb, and just a lot of protein. These are amazing, crumpled up on top of a salad to make a taco salad, but another really easy Walmart find. All right, so Walmart actually has these um, condiments that are pretty good. It is just their like Sam's Choice brand, um, but they're really good. The Cuban style mustard, the dill mustard, and the chipotle mustard are really delicious. The dill mustard is the one I love. Um, it has one gram of fat, less than a gram of carb, in 45 grams of sodium per teaspoon, but it is really good. Um, it's a, it's an interesting type of mustard and the Cuban mustard is actually good too. Um, but these are Walmart exclusives. All right, another thing that you can find at pretty much any Walmart is an assortment of G Hughes sauces. Um, now, pretty much at every grocery store, you can find at least the barbecue sauce, but Walmart tends to have their other sauces. So this Walmart in particular has the pollination and the honey mustard and look at the macros. Pretty darn decent. All right, so again, like I said, pretty much every grocery store nowadays, you can find the G Hughes barbecue sauce, but check out all of these different G Hughes sauces. Half of these I didn't even know existed, but we have sweet honey, 
flavoring. Let's check out the macros. Bomb. We have Caribbean jerk. Again, bomb macros. Teriyaki marinade. Bomb. And then we have some other ones, orange ginger. Ooh, Parmesan peppercorn, which are have really good, has really good macros, surprisingly. So Walmart is the hot spot if you need some sauces, if the sauce life is for you. I know I love my sauces. We've got the G Hughes hookup right here. All right, we are back home. Um, I was gonna film in my car, but I'm not gonna lie, we are getting a tropical storm here in Florida. So it was super windy and almost looked like it was gonna pour by the time I got out of Walmart. So I got in my car, ran home, well, drove home. Um, and I, I am sorry, this is not the most ideal background with my toilet, just like hanging out back there, but it is what it is, not the point of this video. I just wanted to wrap up this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed some of those little fun finds that I did find at Walmart again. One of the reasons I love Walmart is A, you can find a lot of like little cool exclusive things that are just at Walmart and B, it's cheap. I mean, let's be honest. I think we can all afford to be balling on a budget. It doesn't hurt to like be budget friendly. Um, and I, as much as I love Whole Foods and places like that, it's sometimes nice to be able to just go into a grocery store and find some cool things that aren't super expensive. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will do more of these soon, um, probably for other grocery stores like Target, Trader Joe's. Um, if you have any one in particular you want me to do one for, let me know, drop a comment below. Um, additionally, if you have a favorite product that you find at Walmart, please drop it in the comments below. But like this video if you did enjoy it, subscribe, and drop a comment below if you have something nice to say or just wanna comment on some of the things I found in this video. Um, but as always, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video.